How are you getting better at selling your vision? It might sound obvious, but it's by getting more real. So oftentimes a vision is something you think of in the abstract. It's this far off thing. It's this idea. And what I have found is the more and more I translate that vision into concrete products, concrete programs, and invite people into this world that I've constructed. And that's part of the power of, of really being a media company today is you can build your world. You know, and we've got an online university, we've got virtual events, we have podcasts, we have our blog, we have our social media streams, all of these things that are literally building a world for people to have an experience through. And so selling the vision is just helping people orient themselves in this world so that people show up and, you know, first 10, 20 times I visited New York City, I was like this. Right? You're like taking it all in. You're like, wow. You're like wide-eyed going, man, this is cool. This is wild. Check this out. So how do you help people find the nooks and crannies? Because it's often down the side street or tucked away someplace that you have the hidden gems in a city. The same thing is taking place with many of our online media properties. So how do you help people find your greatest hits? your most popular articles, your best-selling programs, and help people understand that there's a sequence that they can go on. How one thing builds on another, builds on another, builds on another. Uh, so I think that's a really important notion for us as curators of content and curators of an online experience. And that same principle, I've been applying it to how I sell the vision of Get Storied uh, by creating more and more things that are real. Um, the, the way, metaphorically, I often talk about you have to socialize your truth into reality. So the way to socialize that truth is to create things that people can experience and the experience is remarkable enough that people want to share it, want to talk about it, want to tell their friends about it. Uh, so that's how you make it real and you're constantly ratcheting up uh, this place from the abstract, the ephemeral. Uh, you're taking risks because sometimes you're doing new things that might not quite work out. So part of also what you're selling people on the vision too is the journey itself. So what, what's the opportunity of being on this ride, of getting on this bus? Like that's, that was a big part of, of what we did for our first reinvention summit, our big online conference was we're making history. We're going to do something that's never been done before by creating the world's largest online conference for storytelling in the digital age. Come be a part of it. It's like the old parable of stone soup. You know, we've got this base. Come and add your carrots and your leeks and your beets and your onions and your pepper and your salt. And everybody added a ingredient into the mix. We made it very co-creative. Um, and so that's a really important part of selling a vision, of letting people know there's room for them in the story and that they can help create the next chapter. Uh, and so, of course, now we're launching the Reinvention Summit 2. Our first event had over 500 participants. Our goal is to double that mm -hmm. uh, this time around. And we've got a new interactive video collaboration platform we're playing with, all sorts of things going into the mix. And what's one of the first things that we're doing? We're going back to our alumni the people who were there from the beginning, and we're inviting them to help co-create this next, next chapter of the story with us. Because who better to be evangelists on this experience than those who were there from the beginning? Those who describe this as one of the most meaningful experiences they've ever had online. You know, of thinking about like the, the potential of creating a conference with lots of networking and connecting with a tribe of like minds, and that you can now do that in a virtual or online environment completely blew people's expectations away. And now, of course, our goal is to you know, take that even to the next level. So that's, those are some of the ways I think you have to think about how to sell a vision. Uh, it's all about, uh, I'll close with this, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's my, one of my favorite lines from William Gibson, which is, the future already exists. It's just not widely distributed. So key to selling your vision is not trying to convince people of some vision as some far off destination, but instead speak of your vision as an inevitable truth that already exists.
You want some of this? Mmm, it tastes really good over here. Right? You want to create an attraction factor that people go, whoa, dude, what's going on over there? Man, I'll have what he's having. That sounds good. That smells good. What is that? So, right, if if you got to just create uh -huh. a sense of a happening, right? There's no greater way to show people it's happening than by creating a happening, right? So think about that. Create a happening that shows people, look, it's real.